Welcome to another Ziva Math video. In this video, we will take a closer look at proportional relationships and writing equations for scenarios presented in tables. This video will focus just on proportional relationships where we can describe the relationship between x and y using the equation y equals kx, where k is the constant of proportionality. There's a link in the description below to our constant of proportionality video if you need to review, but what is important to remember is that the constant of proportionality is a ratio and can be calculated using k equals y over x or y divided by x. Let's take a look at our examples. In this example, we're going to write the equation that represents this proportional relationship that they gave us in the table. They labeled our x and y values for us. They told us it's a proportional relationship, so we know we need to use the equation y equals kx. And k is our constant of proportionality. We have a formula for calculating that, k equals y over x. So now we need to choose which x and y values we're going to use. And choosing an x value of 1 makes our calculations much easier. So I'm going to choose x is 1 and y is 4. So when I calculate my constant of proportionality, I'm going to take my y value of 4 and plug it in for y. I'm going to take my x value of 1 and substitute it for x. And now I have 4 over 1, or 4 divided by 1, which is 4. And that's why, if you can, you want to choose where x is 1 for your calculations. And now that I have a constant proportionality of 4, I simply am going to take that constant proportionality and put it into my equation for my line. So that's going to be y equals, well, 4 is going to go in place of k, so y equals 4x. This example asks us to write the equation that represents this situation, and in the table we have hours worked in total pay, where we say somebody worked 10 hours and earned $150, 20 hours and earned $300, and so on. And the first thing we need to do is determine if this is a proportional relationship, and we'll do that by calculating our constant of proportionality using the formula y over x which means that we need to determine what in our table is our x values and which one is our y values. Well, our pay de is determined by the hours that we work. So pay has to be our y and hours worked has to be our x. And then I'll need to choose a set of data to work with. And I'm going to choose uh, working 10 hours and earning $150 because my y value be 150, my x value will be 10, so I'll place 150 on top in place of y, 10 on the bottom in place of x, and 150 divided by 10 is an easy calculation. That's why I chose this data set, was 150 divided by 10 is 15. Now, to be sure that this is a proportional relationship, we need to test these other values as well and make sure that the constant of proportionality is the same no matter which piece of data we use. So now I'm going to plug in 300 for y and 20 for x to see if 300 divided by 20 is also 15. Well, first I can simplify by 10, which will give me 30 divided by 2, and 30 divided by 2 is 15. And you would also want to go and check these other data pieces as well. It's 450 divided by 30, 15. Is 600 divided by 40, 15? And the answer to that is yes. So now that we've determined it's a proportional relationship, we know that we'll use this formula y equals kx, where k is that constant of proportionality that we just calculated, 15. So we will put 15 in place of k. So our equation will be y equals 15x. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Ziva Math for more videos.